Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to see you here. My name is Anna, I'm data analyst and as I promised in my previous video about Python libraries, today I want to talk about parser libraries. I frequently write parsers at my work, so let me share with you top Python parser libraries or in other words, web scraping libraries. And yeah, if you're interested in data analysis or data science topics, please click subscribe button below and click like. So what is web scraping? It's the process of collecting web data. So if you wanted to analyze some web data or download it for the use, we wouldn't want to copy paste everything. So web scraping is a technique that lets us use programming to do that. So the first Python library that I want to tell you about is request. The first step in any web scraping workflow is to send a HTTP request to the website server to retrieve the data displayed on the target page. So request is a Python library that aims to simplify making and sending these HTTP requests. Request plays a vital role in making the entire web scraping process simpler for new data scientists or new developers, so its simplicity is definitely the greatest strength. So, for example, if you want to pull down the content of the page, uh, it's as easy as write import requests page request dot get. So here we write the website contents page content. This code issues an HTTP GET request to the given URL. It retrieves the HTML data that the server sends back and stores the, the data in Python object. So getting the HTML content is the first and foremost step in web scraping. The first thing. However, the request doesn't part uh, HTML data retrieved. If you want to do that, we require si such libraries as LXML or Beautiful Soap. Beautiful Soap lets you conveniently parse the HTML or XML files. So, because Beautiful Soap can only uh, parse data and can't retrieve the web pages themselves, it often we use with a uh, request library. So, request library send an HTTP request to the web pages. So, once it has been uh, submitted or returned, uh, Beautiful Soap can be used to parse this uh, target data on the web page. It creates a parse tree that can be used later to parse HTML data. So after the creation of parse tree, this library helps to search. It means to find the right tag and the content of the HTML tree. So probably I will do the part two for this video to make the tutorial how to use this library. It works when we are aiming to scrape large data set. It has high efficiency and ease of use. So the combination of request library and LXML is commonly used uh, in web scraping today. Actually, there was a time when developers or data scientists uh, had to choose uh, LXML or Beautiful Soap. But today, Beautiful Soap supports LXML parser and vice versa. So it's also pretty easy to learn uh, the other when you have learned one. Selenium is a beginner-friendly tool uh, and unlike other libraries, Selenium wasn't originally designed for web scraping. First and foremost, Selenium is a web driver uh, designed for the purpose uh, of automated testing of web application. This functionality is helpful for web scraping because a lot of today's modern websites use JavaScript. Uh, for example, they might wait you until you scroll down on the page or click button and then loading uh, needed content. Other sites may require you to click through forms before seeing their content or select options from a drop-down. It means with the help of Selenium it's possible to parse a dynamic and static website, as Selenium can open links, fill some forms, uh, scrolling pages and many many other things. However, web scraping with the help of Selenium is much more slower than just sending HTTP requests or uh, use library that I mentioned above. Scrappy is an open source uh, Python framework built specifically for web scraping. 
Once you install this library, all you need to do is to write a spider. One of the biggest advantage of this library, I mean Scrappy, is the possibility to make a synchronous request. It means that you don't need to wait to make requests one at a time. This actually saves us a lot of time. <laughs> And by the way, Scrappy also offers uh, data extraction in various formats like JSON, XML or CSV. One small drawback of Scrappy is that it doesn't handle JavaScript uh, straight out of the box like Selenium. So as you see, all these libraries were developed to cover one or two aspects for, of web scraping. So if you need to make like fully functioned web spider, uh, you need to combine them. So guys, don't forget to subscribe my channel because I'm planning to do the part two video where I will show how to use these libraries. And if you like this video, please click like and I will see you soon in the next videos.